<laughs> what happens when you got down above that hill? Well, this reel is totally written off. What are you talking about? Absolutely written off. <laughs> the John has actually, I don't know if you can see this, John's broken the rim. It's actually snapped the rim. The rim is completely snapped. So this wheel is, you can't move it. It's totally jammed now. <laughs> it's totally, totally knackered. I can't, don't think I can film it. I can't actually get in there to film it. <laughs> John's gone to uh, kick himself. He's, he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, look. Hello? An anyone here? It's 9 a.m. on a Monday and I'm the only one in the office. Days like that, I'm like, is it a bank holiday? No, it's not. So, where is Ian and Mike? Hmm, I don't know. But I'll go and make myself a cup of tea because it's freezing. Like it was snowing today. Had to clean the car, little micro. But yeah, got there. Didn't crash. That's good. And now it's time for a warm cup of tea. It's Monday, Monday. Morning. Good morning. How's it going, Big Mike? It's all right. Yeah. Big in. <laughs> nice top. Thanks. So make it for men. <laughs> oh. Well, right. Yeah, good, good. There's uh, Nice. <laughs> Rob, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Good, isn't it? Thanks, Rob. Free gift. Yeah. I'm always up for free gifts. Anyone's got any free gifts, then uh, feel free to send them my way. Yeah, building 13.2, unit C, uh, Advantage Business Village, um, GL 170DD. And send me a biscuit, please. Nice uh, Tesla 2 going out to customer. And then what have we got here? So I'm trying, I've been prepping these ones up. Pair 16X and the aggressive foot plates to go with it. Good choice. Pretty sweet. Reviews on those are really, really good. Uh, and then we've got an RS. Uh, what is this? The RS. High speed, I think. This is the RS. Um, full fully charged. So we charge them up. That's what we try and do. Keep saying. So this one's still going. 16X. Tesla's all charged. RS is charged. Good to go. Uh, what else have we got here at the moment? Some stuff's already gone out. Uh, this is a pump, Sherman mud guard, uh, and super boost pads. And after the lovely cup of tea, I've been editing some paintball stuff. So I'm nearly done, so I need to get Mike's opinion if he's happy with the video. This excitement right item has arrived. The cheap case. It's taken a few weeks to get here. A couple of weeks, two, three weeks. For the FPV. So we can go in there. Goggles in there. Yep. All sorts of stuff. In our case, stop it getting wrecked. What it hasn't got is anything to put on your back, so it'll have to go in a bag or carry it with the handle. Rubberized underneath, quite nice. Anyway, it's a cheap case. We're running low on milk, so that's why now I'm gonna quickly go to the shop and get some milk. I think a King Song 18S 
yeah it's it's a model it's a unicycle model that i haven't really used before it's like a vintage now now we're getting to the point where some of the machines are, are vintage like the nine bot one e plus for example it's quite an old one um, and this this king son is also like an older older machine but we had one laying around so i finally found all the all the panels that were missing and now we just need to figure out what we can do with it uh, because i don't think we have a charger which is really unfortunate but at least we can probably put it on the wall in the studio or, or something like that so here's the machine in all of its glory and the best thing is when you press on the power button Hello, King Song. It actually works, but uh, I need to glue the side panels because all the side pads because they uh, they're not they fall easily. <laughs> but overall, the machine does work, which is great. Whoa, you're ready to go, aren't you, Brucey? Hey, oh. should we go home? What is the time? It is twenty to seven. I'm going home, haven't filmed much today because it's a Monday and Mondays generally are completely flat out. Actually, before I close up the night, I'm going to put that in here and also I've got a cover for the MacBook. Now this MacBook may look like my other MacBook, but it isn't. This is a MacBook M1 and it's replacing my MacBook, which I got very recently, but the new MacBook is my now daily driver. And the other one is going to the shop, as you may have guessed. So we're gonna intensively be using that. Uh, well, Sally, when she starts, she will be using that. Um, and I'll be using mine uh, to put products in, weigh them, product descriptions, barcode SKUs, you name it. MacBook that's completely protected. Still works. You can still see the Mac logo if you really want to. That saves loads of heartache. Straight away, props are gonna come off, aren't they? So you carry this around with you each and every time to put the props back on. Not a major pain in the ass, but nonetheless, a bit annoying. And these are gonna come off. Now that is annoying. There we go. So it's in um, there. I've got to put the props in there. You could actually put charging stuff in there, I guess. I'm not going to do that uh, because it's going to be straight down on top of this. All of this gubbins. Slight softness to it, but it's just going to damage it. So I got everything I need to fly, just can't charge. Thought 20, 30 minutes turned into about two hours. <laughs> it's now 10 o'clock at night. I've uh, paid suppliers, I've been emailing suppliers, been creating transfers, so inbound goods essentially, and um, that's what that is, and tidying stuff up. You see one thing, it leads to another thing, it leads to another thing, it leads to another thing, and you end up taking ages, and then some things don't work, and you have to email them, say this isn't working, can't complete this task, then put down in the list, oh, that's a task that wasn't completed. So, yeah. Right, this is goodbye for Monday. Monday is now officially over. Goodbye. So this morning, we've got the wall, which is gonna be built, hopefully. We've got some blocks here. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Blocks, blocks, blocks. And then, that's fallen down, he's scooping up. Wall being built there. All along here, out to the edge here. Stage two. And we've got some glistening in the sun of 
icy weather, freezing cold. Here we have a uh, cement mixer that John's going to build. Yeah, apparently I have it done within a couple of minutes, so it's always good. Look at that, brand new cement mixer. Ian's doing his walking around. Uh, Just you get a measuring tape up in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Council thing. Yeah. <laughs> little, little board with a pen. And come back tomorrow, not tomorrow, tonight, and there'll be a wall built here. All built, all done, so that'll be done. I've already sent him a picture of him, what it's going to be like. <laughs> he has actually, and Mario, if you put the picture on the screen now, um, <laughs> then everyone will know what we're talking about. We've got some sand here, and we've got this built now. Didn't take very long. <clears throat> and let's see if it works. Does it work? Oh, it does. Look at that. It's working. It is working. Here we are, look, this is where we are so far. This is before work's begun. It's gonna get back, it's gonna be an absolute masterpiece here. It's gonna be something else. If there's any brickies watching, you need to learn. All right, you need to learn, you need to learn. That's what we're saying. Watch this space, boys. Good morning, guys. It is a Tuesday and we finally have our first winner of the Spot the Little Puppet Man competition that we're running on the weekly vlogs. And you can see his comment uh, about here, I think, yeah. So, yeah, congratulations for spotting the little guy. Uh. Okay, go on in. Morning. Yo. Hey. Shorts day, is it? Nice legs. Got a license for them? <laughs> Don't want to say that. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Are these yours, the ones you bought off me? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, I just assume you've got them out and trying to fix them. No, I didn't get them out. Did you? No. Oh, Alright. What did you do with yours, Ian? They're over there. What? Oh, yeah. Didn't someone have to review that? They fixed them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I haven't bothered looking at that, though. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I'll just give them to someone broken. Happy birthday. <laughs> brilliant. I think said the release, but. That one's saying you can fix them. Oh. All right. Yeah. How's it going, big boys? Good. Excellent. We have got 16X going out on charge. An M Super Pro high speed. And of course, we got free stickers. <laughs> going in both. So I've been going through the warehouse and I found a treasure. Let's go and have a look. What is it? So in this box, there's a lot of motherboards. Of, uh, for wheels which are no longer in manufacturing. So here we have two ACM boards, the standard version. These are all M Super Pro 3S Plus boards. These here are M Super 3 or 3S boards. Unfortunately, all of those boards that we have, they have been here since 2017, so they're quite old now. But the thing is, we don't know if they're faulty or not, because I thought probably they'll be fine. But Ian then re remembered that a while ago, Godwe had told him that some of the boards that he had received were I guess 40 ones or, or something on those lines. So that's why we can't really put them on the shop as for people to buy them because we're not sure if they're safe or not. So that's why we will just, just keep them in the warehouse, which is a bit unfortunate because I thought, oh wow, I found a gold mine. But it we don't we don't we aren't sure if they're right or not. So that's unfortunate. Where are we going Yen? Hello, we are King Sol. I am King Song. You are viewer. Um, we are going to co-op. This is going to be up for sale soon. Comedy wheel. What did you call it? Just for giggles wheel. Just for giggles. Got a slight wobble in the middle when you're riding along. It's like between four, once you're going forward, it's fine. When you lean back, you're like, whoa, oh, there we are. <sighs> Lovely. And it locks in. Lean forward, but it's, it's fixed up the best we can do. So it'd be super cheap. Dirt cheap. But can't locate the charger. Which is a bit of a shame. I found one and it doesn't work. This is probably dodgy. It was on my desk, weirdly, under a load of stuff. So it's probably a dodgy charger, but we need a 67.2 volt. No, 60. 
Yeah, 67.2 volt charger. That's it, this is 67.2 volt with two amps. Never mind, not to be. Hopefully it's a charger's dodgy rather than it won't take a charge, but I'll find it. Me and Mario just heading out on the old, uh, on the wheels. <laughs> I've got wheels, he's got a wheel. Not gonna ride downstairs. Too dangerous. Oh, one hand is dangerous as well. I'm getting the mess here. Caught it. Ow, 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 ow. This is not as convenient as a wheel. No, probably don't do it then. I'm not sure that counts. Sorted. Better put it back. Could be someone's coming. Yeah. Nah, I might get told off. Which is pretty rare. There's a bail section here, look. On site. What's the worst that can happen? This is stupid. The pet even in the e-bike. The shop is a well, it's not a scanner, it's a barcode scanner. Thank you. Danke. German, uh, Spanish, French, uh, Italian. Yeah, uh, here it is. So, this is uh, a requirement to be able to use the point of sale system because my barcode scanner that I had for years and was very expensive. Oh, no, it doesn't work, does it? So that's quite tidy, isn't it? Tidy for a Friday. Zzz, doesn't work. Send it back. It's broken now. It's weird. It's got bits of hair in it. Like beard hair. Hairy <laughs> <Very> bark, <laughs> I agree. So that should allegedly now work. Do you know one thing I've realised now is we haven't got a stand for it, so I'm going to have to buy a stand for it. Oh my goodness me! It is tiny though. Tiny. Mobile. Does it go in your pocket? Carry it around with you. But that'll be connected to via Bluetooth to the till. And then you go bleep and scan items as it comes in. Not only that, you can go bleep when you're booking stuff in. So let's, for example, you were booking this helmet in, you just go bleep. Someone wants to buy that, job done. Should bring up this exact thing if it's done right. If we mess it up, then obviously it won't work properly. Wobbly? Won't work wobbly. You doing? Yeah. Been running, have you? Or? Yeah, it's not doing anything. What's this? Hmm? It's warming up, is it? Just warming up. 20, yeah. There's bigger weights down there, you want to put them on there. 82. They have more weight then. About 95. 95? Like I don't do any, I don't get out of bed for anything less than 150. Okay. So. 
I won't even touch that. One Disgusting. Out. I've put the big puppet man over there because I don't really like when he's watching me. So he, it's hidden there, so it, I don't see it as much. So I feel slightly more comfortable in the workplace now. What have we got here? We've got a bit of a delivery. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Uh, let's have a look. Open up, mate. In your break time. He's supposed to be lifting this, but it's messed about. Oh, it's, it's a bag. It's another bag. It's a mother load. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You know the rule, we're on a diet. We can't buy our own biscuits. Someone has sent us. How many packs? Six. One, two, three, four, five, oh. six. Six packs of digestives. Hey. That's nice of them, isn't it? Well, yeah. Thank you, John, for the biscuits. They will last us approximately one to two Working hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for that. The nation's favourite. They are the nation's favourite, yeah. and now my new favourite. So, there you go. Thanks, John. Start as a disclaimer. Yeah, don't no, no, don't, okay. no, you don't. Apparently, Mike was saying you don't need to put anything on and stop um, it going off. Yeah. No, I'd be fine. No, the, be fine. The thread is. The what? Thread. Forget it. Just get the car on. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about the thread. Yeah. Okay. Up it goes. Easy. Yeah, Bulgarian lifter. Yeah. And then Wait. just do just do five reps of those. Which... Power cleaning now. Eh? Oh, hello. Oh. And then cool. again, just do. Yeah. <laughs> the floor, yeah. You can't tag them, does he? No. I mean, I can't... I don't want to try lifting up higher. No, no. That's not expected of you. Yeah. You should get five out. He's Bulgarian. You can do anything. He's a Bulgarian bear. I used to lift like... Uh, more than that. 120. What is this? I could put 120 on there if you want it. Uh, well, I was... Well, let's test it. You've got to put your money where your mouth is now. That, that was after 10, 10 weeks of having a personal trainer. Okay, well, this yeah, is going to well. be after 30 seconds of not having one. How much is... Mike could say, he's calculating it. His mind's like a rain man. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying. That's about 120. So it's about 120. No, this is great, that is. I mean, it could be 150, more. it could be 10. We don't know. That's 11, 21, 61, 122, 132. 132. Boom. Uh, it's just a number. It's like age. <laughs> yeah. Give it a quick crack, innit? I, I, I'm not sure I should lift this up. Well, you'll either not lift it or lift it. Mike could demo it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> the old man. This would probably go horribly wrong. Get the old boy in, and if he can do it, then the only whippersnapper should be able to do it, shouldn't he? That mean, that's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's easy. That went up easy. easy. Yeah. He's just going to do an extra one just to, uh, just to show off a little bit. Notice his breathing. That's it. Easy. And it was gently put down as well. Notice that. Yeah. He gets a green tip for that. Mario's going. Mm, I, I really <laughs> should... Breathe, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really shouldn't shouldn't leave this up. I really should. You said it. I think you can. Yeah. Can yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. Piece of cake. Okay. Oh. Maybe go. Yeah. Cross hands technique. Sort of cheaters way. Cheaters way. Yeah. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to. Just like that. That's it. Oh, okay. It's gonna go up. It's all in the mind. Just push. Push it up. Oh no! I can't. This is. This yeah, is, there's no such thing as can't. This this is beyond my. If you put your feet, get your feet under the bar. Okay. So you see where you first line your laces. Get your probably about there. It's probably all right. And then push your backside out. Right. Out. Just like that, mate. Mm. That's it then. Your left foot though is not level with your right foot, is it? You've not got a nice straight stance there. That's it. Okay. You want to be further under that, a little bit? Further? That's it. That's where Mike was, more or less. Okay. <coughs> Although I find it odd with the cross hands. So we'll just do it with your hands. Yeah, just do yeah. that. Yeah, if, you're if you're mad enough to do that. <laughs> oh, 
Come on. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh. No. It went up. It, it went up, but I, I can I can go up. I'm going to try it now. I need to train. Is this going to hit my back? No. Yeah, don't do it. And now I'm taking some product photos of all the spare parts that we have so that we can have them on the website. So if someone needs um, left M Super Pro rear light, they can just order one and receive it. Got to take this home. I uh, bought it for Mario for Christmas. Doesn't, doesn't want it. Don't know why not. Who doesn't want Professor Peng and Lee's putty magnetic poo? No idea. So the kids are going to do it. Got to take, that, take the paperwork, take this thing, and then we got a load of stuff downstairs. I'll show you in a second. Where's Mars Bar? Messing about. He's asleep in here. He's just jumped up. Yeah. Just jumped up. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, busy. Yeah, busy, so, busy, busy. So okay. tomorrow, bit of filming with John Wally. Needs that. The yeah. Crane 3. Can't use the uh, Ronin. Yes. I, I, I can't. So Evidently not. You crashed last time, broke it. Well, I couldn't write and use it at the same time. Okay. Um, does it still work? Is it the Ronin S? I think so. <laughs> we just weirdly, coincidentally, just don't use it anymore. Mm -hmm. When I bought that one instead. Yeah. Yeah. This is and nice. And then we got the. Uh, it is nicer though, isn't it? Yeah. And then you got the AED with the twenty-four seventy on it. L Suze lens. I almost went without it. The whole point of tomorrow is the Monster Pro. Can I reach the Monster Pro video? So filming it again with the Gen 3 board on, as you would have seen in last week's vlog, Mario fitted the Gen 3 board. Got to bring it with me, charge it up today. I'm going to put these on because a lot of it tomorrow is going to be off-roading. And although the weather is absolutely gorgeous, yeah, I don't fancy riding without these on. I need as much grip as possible. Charge it up, 99.9 .9 volts, but I do need it. So I might clean this down at the end, make it look nice again. And then we're going to go off again. Bit of a, just a tiny bit of extra grip. Look at that. Look at it. Beautiful. Go on, Bruce. Hold that open with that. Bye bye. Oh, it's going to land on my car. <laughs> All right, balance my way out. Uh, put that out there. Oh, my key battery in the car is running low. So it's to get really close to it and sometimes it's not working. So Jonathan Wally's coming. So I've ordered a luxury airbed. So he's staying in the office. He's coming late tonight. Built in pillow, built an electric pump, inflates in three minutes, enhanced support. Now I don't know if that means support if it goes wrong or support within the uh, structure, shall we say, of the bed. For escape, we have got a new Hoover, brand new Dyson. And then we got something else here. What the heck is it? Forgotten. Oh, scales. We need to weigh every single thing in that shop to run an e-commerce store. You need to know the weight for your shipping, basically. So that's what they're for. So anything from naught to 150 kilograms. So they sit on the floor, unfold it, displays up here, plonk stuff on it, get the weights. And if there's kits, you can build up a kit total weight as well with it by programming it. So that's all sorted. So we've got that. It's all these little things you need to do. That and a Hoover. Got to go. Phone's ringing. Let's have a quick look at this uh, wall. Oh, the sand piles going down. That's one good thing. Got a few blocks left now. That's it. Blocks, blocks. Oh, and there's the bit everyone's been waiting for. Oh, look, it's kinked my wire. Will it still work? John. Right, look at that. Getting there, isn't it? It's getting there. That's going to build up. Be a nice retaining wall. Lovely. Now it'll be backfilled with what the Welsh call chippings or what the English would call gravel. Uh, translation issue there. Backfill with chippings, he said. Thinking, wooden chippings? They're rot out. I knew what he meant there, but yeah, we don't call them that. That's John there, John Wally. Mark Steele. How do? You all right? How you doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, hold on. Still the camera crew light on. Oh, there we are. How's it going? That's nice. Yes, right? that's nice and bright, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. 
Wakes you up. Is that the sun? <laughs> you turned the sun on. <laughs> the sun's on. <laughs> Got your little shoes on? Yeah. You like your little shoes? Uh, what, expecting sandals and socks? Yeah, I thought so. Bare feet, I usually. Oh, right. lovely. Lovely. So John's just pairing up a Skydio 2, one of the Skydio 2s. He's going to do that. I was just showing him the older FPV, stored away. Not going out tomorrow, the FPV. That'll be pushing it on the old adventure. Put that back in its corner. So now that's all balanced now. She's better connect straight to it. Easy. Activate anti-lock email to verify your account. There we are. Uh, and here's John's bed. A luxury airbed. So here, inside this box is the best night's sleep you'll ever have. Allegedly. Ooh, it does come in a little bag, I think. John's still messing about with that drone. Not getting anywhere. Look at this. This is gonna be the best night's sleep that John's ever had in here. Now, I'm guessing, we've got a little thing here, look. Oh, look at that. This is looking promising. Will you be a better night's sleep than time I slept in your old office on mm, that sofa? Yes, definitely. This, well, this is the best night's sleep you've ever had. So I'm not sure what happens the second time you sleep on it. <laughs> Does it get better and better and better? It must do. So eventually you just don't wake up. Is that the ultimate sleep though, is it not waking up, dying That's in your sleep? That's the ultimate sleep, isn't it? Is it? The sleep you never dying wake up. Dying in your sleep is the best sleep. <laughs> That's just what they mean then. Yeah, I'm going to die tonight. You're going to die because what they said. All right, here we go, turn the power on, and then we're talking about inflating. Oh, look at this, John. Hey? Bouncing customer. Yeah. Look at this. I'm not sure what's going on here. How big is it? Is it into the wall? It might be. It's king size. There she is. Lovely. So, looking good. Yeah, and it's got a built-in, built-in pillow. You see? Built in pillow area. So, come on, let's see it then. If people are actually watching this, it will prove that people will watch anything. Will it? Will it? Hey, look at that, hey? That's it. You'll confine yourself there just to that area of sleeping bag. I guarantee I'll find a pair of socks, or one sock in the bottom of this sleeping bag. <laughs> Probably. Well, the thing is, this is a king size bed. Yeah. So you're now restricting just to a single. But no, no, let's see. So it's like I want to see the old, the old. You don't need the. You don't need the. I don't need the pillow. Don't need the pillow. Because you've got a pillow up there. It's actually something to hold that, isn't it? That's it. Perfect. Night, right, John. Alright. Get to the lights out of the way. Up. Okay. See ya. Right. I'm not leaving. I'm going to climb in now. <laughs> <laughs>
heavier rider as well. Heavier rider, less battery. But I don't know about heavy riders and oranges and apples, but I've got orange juice. Greg's fair trade as well, because, uh, yep. And then uh, jam donuts with apple and raspberry jam. So over there is the Seven Bridge. You might be able to see it. So we've come off the lovely main road and just headed off road. Oh, a lot of lot of signs coming from there. John's just had a serious accident. I'm going to go this way. Whoa! This is how long we've been doing this? About 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right, look at that though, properly uh, grounded out on that one, second gate in as many seconds. So this is, John's gone into some brambles and now he's got a puncture. Really? <laughs> yes you have, what? yeah, 100% yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been riding for about two minutes. <laughs> All this talk about, oh no, yeah, we're going to go 60 miles. Right. So, that was good. So we we'll just head back. Back to the office, back to... <laughs> so we're now going to do... So here we are in the first of June. We're going to do a strip down tutorial of how to change a puncture. Yeah. <laughs> so we're two minutes into a ride. <laughs> We're going to refit a tyre on this and we're going to do something Got to find a bike different. shop. Got to find a Halfords or something. What? And, and get some of that stuff. Slime? Yeah. Let's do it. So it's Chepstow. Yep. I think it's anything in Chepstow, but... Is this rideable? Yeah. Maybe. Did you drive into the Brambles then? Yeah. Well then. <laughs> uh, here we are. And uh, guess what? It's all steps. All the way down because we can only get there across a single bridge over the river. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. Ow, 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 ow. Little river. Ah. Unbelievable. John's fault. And here we are at Motor World. I'll try and get what he needs. Look at this, I'm using my batch up already. 97.8. That's a long old way. Lovely, let's uh, go all them back. John now to fix the wheel he broke. Put this here, I might turn my wheel off for now. All the power gone, it's just a ploy to make you run out of power. That's <laughs> yeah. all it is. Can't stop that from rolling back, so put that the door. Oh, it pains me, but good luck with this. It's going to go absolutely okay. everywhere. I bought three though, so it should be all right. So I've never used it before. Haven't you? This yeah. is going to be entertaining then. <laughs> you shake it first? Well, shake I hope so, because you've already shaken it. Shake it vigorously before you Going for a run? You got to keep it upside down, or? That doesn't look like it's working very well. <laughs> That's a bit better. How much time do you... Just keep going. Just keep going until it equalises. Until you see that stop flowing. Just keep it cranking up. Yes, back to normal again. It's going to solve all your problems, this. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're going to be a better rider with it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I tell you, it's messy stuff. It's even funner when you take off the, uh, the valve. You have to be super quick, otherwise you're going to get rid of all the air you just put in it. <laughs> now get out, turn it on, spin it. What? Spin it, get it, turn it on, you need to power it up. What? <laughs> you need to power it up. <laughs> and then let it spin to try and fill the, get all the fluid around. 
What do you fire mean? Up, fire it up. Yeah. And then pick it up so it spins. And try and keep it spinning as long as possible, really. To get that fluid going around there and finding that hole. And so then boot it back up again. Try and keep it spinning. Little game where you try and work out where centre is. Just try and keep it lightly spinning. What are you doing? No, that's not working, yeah. Give it here. No, just get out of it. How are you doing that? Are you a Jedi? You just gotta try and work out where centre is, don't you? Hopefully, that's filled that hole now. All done. Awesome. Good stuff. Why Let's is go. Time warp? <laughs> it's on time warp, brilliant. <laughs> Good job. I was filming there, really, wasn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, all that completely lost. Well, you get some of it, it'd be just like in about 0.2 of a second. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, stop my nose running anyway. There's a police bus. Oh, <laughs> As you did that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what it looked like you're doing is spitting across all the roads. <laughs> Kobe! <Yeah. laughs> what happens when you got down above that hill? Well, the mud. This reel is totally written off. What are you talking about? Absolutely written off. <laughs> the John has actually, I don't know if you can see this, John's broken the rim. He's actually snapped the rim. The rim is completely snapped. So this wheel is, you can't move it. It's totally jammed now. <laughs> Totally knackered. I can't, don't think I can film it. I can't actually get in there to film it. <laughs> John's gone to uh, kick himself. He's, he's over there. <laughs> there you are, look. That's John. He's having a good time over there. Just uh, relaxing slightly. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so, shall we go back and get the uh, EX? <laughs> did, you, did you leave it charging? The EX. What did we yeah, turn off? It. Yeah, okay. Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. How, how can it I have no idea. That. What's that? I've kind, of, I've kind of got an idea. And I just got a text from Ian that I don't need to go and do the filming because Jonathan had an issue with his machine and I think he f he's damaged the rim of his Sherman somehow. It's unfortunate because he, he came here so with Ian they can ride together and do some filming and, and just I guess enjoy the, the, the sun because it's really nice outside. And he broke his machine which I think it had happened before, I'm not sure, but I think I think it had happened maybe once or twice or multiple times. And because I'm not doing the filming means that I have more time because I actually need to create some warehouse space, of, I think for the paintball side of things. So I'll be moving a lot of racking and I'll show you. Things have not gone according to plan. If that was the plan, it was a stupid plan. <laughs> uh, we've, having had the puncture, spent, uh, what was that, 24 pounds on to inflate the tire. It was me that now. <laughs> Add it to my bill. Um, inflated the tyre, got messy with that, then tried to ride it and the wheels just seized up. It would appear that the rim of the wheel has broken. I can't believe it's been today. So I'm What did you do yesterday or the day before yesterday? I was riding off road through Got some... excited, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been riding, I've been practicing riding down flights of steps. Uh, yeah. Just a minute ago, he's going, I can't think. I can't. <laughs> I can't think of why that would have broken. And I've seen a video of you going through the forest doing some little jumps and stuff. 
and I'm thinking. But I'm then you say you're practicing riding those steps, which you admitted that a second ago. Yeah, so I've been practicing going down flights of like, not not masses, like about nine steps was the most I went down. Flight of nine Once. Steps. No, repeatedly. But, <laughs> uh, but I didn't fall off. Anyway, so it looks like the rim has, has cracked in that, and so therefore it's a right off the wheel, or it needs a new motor. Need a new motor. So it's a complete rebuild. So the day has not gone according to plan, but we... Oh, I can't speak, I'm going to be sick if I speak much longer. <laughs> so I'm now going to ride the Monster Pro back to get my car to come back, and then we'll rethink the day. Yeah. But what was going to be a fun day riding is now just a... No, no, we're sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go and get the EX. And then... But we're thinking the bill for that is going to be something, you know... Think... It's a motor, isn't it? It's 500 quid-ish. Since it turns you right for riding loads of stairs repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you left that out a minute ago though. Scratch the egg and I just don't know how it's happened. <laughs> fade in, fade out. Jonathan, 48 hours earlier. Oh, da, 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 oh it's really bumpy. It's really bumpy. Well, oh. I've never ridden this before, so you're going to watch me ride off on this for the first time. Yeah. That's the very expensive. <laughs> I'm going to wobble down very the street. Very expensive. Now. Wobble down the street and smash this one up. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you in about two days. Yeah. Good luck then, wish me luck. See ya, till fun. All of this, all of this blue racking needs to move about this much. So it's, it's this side and then obviously we have this side as well. So I have to move each each of the units up to about here, so there is still enough room to walk past. And because this place hasn't really been clean in years, I will try and sort all that messiness. Wish me luck, and here's the time lapse. All sorted. Pop to shop, see if we can get a new motor. Just don't make a big thing of it. No, we won't, make, won't mention it at all. So... The worst thing is I'm not going to pick this up and carry it. Because it won't roll. <laughs> it won't roll, no. 4.9 miles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not bad. Good ride out. Good day that was, mate. 200 mile round trip for this as well. <laughs> <laughs> All sorted, right. Back home, have a tea. Lovely. Did you enjoy the ride? It's gonna make an interesting live show though, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell was that? Is that, is that pushing? Is that pushing? Oh. all over the car! <laughs> <laughs> States. We got a massive explosion, and it was the Sherman tire exploding. <laughs> oh, it stinks! Oh, it's the wheel <laughs> That's it. Some of that. I better get out. Got to pull into the hard shoulder. <laughs> oh my goodness! That was a proper explosion. <laughs> we were just trying to talk about recovering something of the day so we can get a ride out and boom there's a car, car's full of dust I might just leave it there's no point to stay no no <laughs> brilliant day that'll move now that wheel will it oh yeah wheel will move yeah yeah <laughs> it's better is it <laughs> no actually it's still quite jammed that's, yeah lovely right good the upside is, when it, when it did break down, when we did the problem, we were close to town, we weren't in the middle of the forest, where it'd be no. the most of the nightmare. Yeah, and it's a good uh, thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it yeah. stinks, that does it. Oh. 
and that is me then with moving all of those shelving units and now the next thing that I need to do is behind me I need to build two, um, two shelving units which I think I will do that tomorrow because I need to go and, and just make sure that the studio is all ready for our special guest Jonathan Hey John boy all right, finished. All done, is it? Oh, sweet. That's good then. Look at that. High enough? Yeah. We've got three blocks left. And yeah. Supervisor. Takes a while to get going, doesn't it? Yeah. Slow to accelerate, slow to brake. How can I uh, interest you in some wonderful things that will help you with your unicycle experience? Here we have a frisbee, complete, come sun hat, multiple uses there you've got for that lovely. Uh, what else can we give you here? I've spotted this lovely, walk this way, you know, camping whoopee cushion. Camping whoopee cushion. I'm yeah. assuming. I don't want to look too closely, but that's yeah. what it looks like. Uh, yeah. What else have we got here? Oh, we've got some batteries that are 12 years out of date, so they're... Not out of date, they're 12 years old. So... Use them at your own discretion. Probably fine. Um, and lovely hats here. If you want to make an impression at a party. Thank you. We're not recording. He's in it. <laughs> That's it, get it back on. Oh, low down shot boy. Low down shot boy. Low down shot boy. Oh, what? Is it nice teamwork coming in play, is it? Fine. Teamwork makes dream work. Do you want to pass me that wheel? I'm holding this. Brilliant. Right, one of us needs to go across and right. pass the busy. wheels. What? Are you busy? Yeah. What? This is not. This is not going to work. <laughs> Why didn't you hold it lower down? <laughs> Why would you hold it all the way up there? What? On the... <laughs> That's it. Lovely. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like just too tall. Just. <laughs> right. I think this is just, this is an experiment in teamwork. No, 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 no. It's a uni cycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a teamwork cycle. If I turn this off, it'd be easier. No, it's gonna fall slightly forward. It'd be really heavy. Oh, well, you don't turn the front light off. What? There's a smash into that bit, would there? <sighs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. Off his wages, then, isn't it? <laughs> oh. uh. Come for the forest, he says. Oh, nice day, he says. I didn't say that. <laughs> it's lies. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, in a minute, I'm going to pick my carrot over this thing. That was alright! <laughs> ah, perfect. Lovely. There you are. Do you want your 360 camera back? No. What? Unicycle. Solo. It's, it's still filming. <laughs> uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold mine and I'm going to use the lift sensor underneath and I'm going to climb over here like that. Hold that there. Sure, that's easier. Easier, isn't it? Do you want that? Just shipping it on pocket thing for your camera. All right. I'm just setting up the studio now. So we have the green screen there and the little stool where John will sit. And then that light kind of removes the shadows on the green screen. And obviously we have the big light here. Camera number one, or oh, actually camera number two. And camera number one. And there's the this little setup. And now I just need Ian and, and John to come for the live show. There is still plenty of time, but I just want to make sure that we're ready. And then there is this extra light for um, Ian's face. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, lovely shot. Whoosh. How is that up the stairs? It's great, it's lovely. Is it? Yeah. Easy, isn't it? It's not a problem, it's fast left open. Yo! Oh, hello! Good to see you. And uh, John now, explain what you're doing, John. Because this beast hasn't seen action for a good number of years. It's not been charged, it's been stuck as a trophy on the wall for about um, three years, three years, isn't it? Uh, this is my original monster that we did the thousand miler on. Wow, that is bright, thank you. That's all I can see now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so because I've destroyed the Sherman, wrecked that today, I'm taking this trophy back off the shelf. Uh, and this is going to be my go-to wheel until I can um, get the Sherman fixed, which might be a little while. Because we need to get order a, uh, a part motor. that's going to be motor shipped over from China. Sweet. That's been sat on the wall for about three years. So I don't know what the range, what these batteries are going to be like. No. We'll, we'll see. We've got about eight miles to get that. Eight miles, yeah. So hopefully Let's we'll do get it. eight miles, yeah. Hopefully oh. it won't break. Oh, here she goes. She hasn't been outside for years. Oh, oh fresh air. Look Woo! at it. She's released into the wild again. Set off on this very place. Yeah. BBC here. Remember? Yeah. Thousand miler. Off we go. Feels like yesterday in many respects. Yes, it does. One wheelie hasn't actually smashed up. Ha <laughs> shoot me on stick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, car. Got it. Classic. Classic, that's it. Vintage. 
on a stand for the last like, three years or so. Uh, but yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Ian for his support. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. All done. Done and dusted. Brilliant. Good ride out. Several wheels. John's been on four. We worked out today. Four wheels. Four wheels. Only broken one, <laughs> Only wasn't it? One, yeah. Only broken one. It's good. Not too bad. That's a personal best. Yes. <laughs> Done well there. Oh man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, this morning, got some donuts from from yesterday, but they'll be fine. Nice in a sealed bag. Kept them nice and juicy. Really good for the diet. There's a charger here. That is because yesterday, Jonathan Wally brought down a Mini Pro that man and man he bought off me year. What's that? He brought off me years ago. Um, but it's dead as a dodo. Has not been used for years. Gonna try and see if I can revive that somehow. Get the old battery pack boosted back out of the old sleep it's in. If it's not completely, completely dead. Good morning guys, so my first task of the day is to charge a new battery that we have. Actually it's a big old 100 volt battery. But the thing is, I don't have a charging port for this particular model. So I will have to open a wheel and then I guess swap one of the batteries, one of the 100 volt batteries with this one. So that I can make sure that this is fully charged. And, and then we can uh, put it back into stock. So if you need to replace your... Um, yeah, your 100 volt battery on your Monster or RS or whatever. Um, you can just order one because we have one in stock. Oh, wow, I've got a really old battery in here. It's been sat in there for ages. Can you see that? So what happens is, or can happen, is it does this. But that's okay. So this is an old, really old battery. It is okay. And so it was originally flashing red. And it's sort of red and green now on here. And this will keep pulsating until eventually it goes solid red. And then it'll charge it. So this one is just, it's been sat back. This has been sat around for a couple of years. Um, but it's, it booted up. The moment of truth will it charge yep it's taking a charge so as you can see here it's gone red now solid red continuously still sat in the old flash in the red but it's always nice and warm so when you feel it nice and warm you know that it's still pumping in some power and when it starts to cool down you know that it's probably getting to the end of its cycle uh, but yeah goes slightly amber as well when it's towards the end so it's pumping out the old red that's still flashing red it's only been on for 45 minutes something like that so we'll see if it goes to green if it does then it's going to charge up nicely it might not be much good to be fair because it's been so long it's never I had another charge for years um so we'll see and that way at least that's a backup so even if it only gets a couple of miles over i've got to go phones ringing but even if it only gets a couple of miles they put into that one and try and revive that one there. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and then I'm gonna go and build two shelving units and then after that I'm gonna move the other ones along so that we have enough space and then I need to build four more so overall there will be six new shelving units so we can have more uh, stuff in here which is gonna be a lot of physical work so that's why I need my tea so I can be strong like a builder. Okay well it's charging still Still flashing red though, a bit suspicious. Found another one. So I'm gonna see if that now charges as well. Disconnect this, if it'll let me. It will, it's gone green, which is always good. Plug it in, oh it's green, dead as a dodo. Oh, saying that there, that started flashing. That's interesting. Hmm, but this is just solid green. Not as promising. I have finished my tea and I'm in the showroom where the new um, shelving units are. So I'm gonna take six out and I'm gonna build two. So wish me luck. Okay, let's do some building.
So there we go, that's a fully charged Bigot 100 volt battery and now I can plug the other batteries and then reassemble the wheel because that's Eon's RS. I stuck it to this one for now and that is actually charging up. As you can see, incredibly low. But mainly because I didn't have a charger. But John bringing his round means I get a charger to actually charge this back up because we'd given them out to customers and all sorts and in fact ended up with none. And this was in the back of the warehouse somewhere which we were using for the Blumel City test um, and then so that's why they off road tyres on it but it's just been sat in the back there for ages and the kids used to use it so I'm going to charge that back up try and get that one working as well so the battery pack is charged I took a photo and then I weighed it so that I can put it into our, our system and the thing is I don't know how much it costs so Ian will have to figure out the, the price of, of this battery pack but it will be on the website if you need a replacement battery pack. Right, gonna actually uh, take this apart now. Yeah. Get into the battery. Get into the battery to the bottom. Take the whole thing apart. And try and swap out the other battery that was vaguely working. And see what it reads out on the meter on the Mini Pro. I just try and have a little look basically of what she reads. Oh, don't rip that out. That'll be bad. Then we go. See what happens now. Put some of these back on. Oh look at that. Well it says it's full. Don't believe that, but it says it is. Brilliant. Mike isn't in today, so Ian has been fulfilling all the orders and now I'm carrying some of the stuff to the FedEx driver. When 30% of your workforce is missing, it is a massive impact. Having a unicycle is so nice because I can just pop in and out just with some small packages and whatnot. So that's absolutely amazing. I love the V8F. This is such a great machine for, yeah, w warehouse work, surprisingly. Okay, so what I want to do is turn on the old compressor. Let's get that up. And get these pumped up. I've been doing some video editing on the vlog. I am currently almost done with Tuesday, and but it's it's five o'clock. Actually, it's past five, so I'll be finishing very soon and then going home. But all of this here is actually overstock. So there's thousands of pounds worth of equipment in here, or, or product, should I say? Um, so all of this is going to come out. This is all paintball related. And what's going to happen? This is going to be a room for overstock for escape. So there'll be racking put in here. Years ago, we used to use this as an office space. Uh, then it was a gym, and then the gym turned into an overstock room. So all this overstock is going to go back out, making more space, as you'll see Mario doing. In here is going to be containing uh, overstock for escape. Hopefully, this room will be big enough for that. All right, let's... That's on. Got to be really, really careful, because this is like the dodgiest battery probably ever. It might just shut off. So I've got to be really careful. Just need to log in and check the firmware. So I don't want to go fast. Not this can go that fast anyway. But it's held my weight, which is one good thing. It's not crashed out yet. I'll take it in the corridor. Connect my phone up and see if it works. So search vehicle segue app. Searching nearby devices, 9 bot Mini 0012. Bound to be a firmware upgrade for this, isn't there? New speed mode, impressive. You unlock the speed limit of sports mode. Enjoy your ride and stay safe. Um, so master control update, 1.40. BLE update, uh, BMS update. Should we update? Let's update it all. It'll be locked. Oh, it's locked it. 
3%. Okay. Let's try and reconnect. Boom. Reconnected. Battery remaining 0%. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? Uh, Bluetooth disconnected. That's why. Thinking, oh, great. Okay, what's new? It says new firmware. I've done that already. So let's check in for update. New firmware available. I'm not sure that's updated properly. <laughs> Let's say update again. See what it does. It's downloading the firmware again. Brilliant. Uh, I'll do it once more. And if it keeps going on that perpetual loop, I'll just assume it's done the update. 100%. Okay. Firmware updated. That's different. Bluetooth disconnected. Oh, let's turn back on. It's balancing. Reconnect. Okay, it's on. It's done 72 miles in total. Does it give me any more information? When was this first? Uh, I wonder if it says... Um, basic info. Activation date, there you go. 30th of April, 2016. 30th of April, 2016 is when John got this from me. It's done 71 miles since then. That was 2016, so five years ago, almost to the day. It's 15 days away from being five years old. And I'm not that comfortable riding along with this. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suddenly, otherwise all this is dropping on the floor, my phone is and the camera is. And I hurt my back, so I'm hoping not. But at the moment it's working. It is working at the moment, so 9.3, 9.4, 9 9.5 miles an hour. Breaking the speed limits. Cool. No idea. That's that fun over there. What's that? So if I put, put a lot of pressure. No, you're turning with the middle part. And just jumping up like as a step, basically get both feet okay. on as quick as possible. <laughs> and, and now I, I, oh, oh, getting serious now. Yeah. Jacket will be off in a minute. <laughs> jacket will be off. Leave the jacket on, bit of padding for when you fall. That's it. He's on and lean back okay. to stop, and then yeah, done. You should be fine now. You're up, shouldn't you? Yeah. Just don't go too fast because it's not designed for speed, really. I mean, faster than that you can go, but yeah. don't think it's like a a V8. So push in with your knees. So lean, left to right. So you want to go left, lean left. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to... Ian. This, this feel... Okay. Ah, that's it, he's getting it now. Okay, yeah, this is, this is a completely new... Experience. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's like every day at Speedy Feet. I, I, I do prefer an a electric unicycle to this. Do you? Yeah. This, this feels a bit... Oh, I don't mind about it, it's just experience. Yeah, people I mean, pay £25 it, an hour for that, don't they? So. It, it, is, it is nice, but not as nice as a... As a UC. unicycle, no. Yeah. And then you've got a lovely job to do, Mario. <laughs> oh, what? Then that's got to go. Where? Boosh. You know, his new racket you've been putting up. Very got no filter because a stupid GoPro don't make a thing to stop it falling off every two seconds. Um. Yeah, you need side ones on here. Okay. Definitely, to strengthen it, because you yeah. can get away with those, because they're not in the way. Yeah, so that, that's what I was thinking, just just put on the side here. Yeah, job done. Uh, but not not on this end. And then we load them up. Yeah. <sighs> it's going to be a uh, fun. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah, exciting time. See ya. Uh, can you uh, lock the door, please? No. Okay. See it. Because I, I can't lock it. <laughs> you could have gone through the door though. But You've done this joke once before in another, another episode where you pretended that you're like, see ya, and then you made me follow you all the way and said, oh, can you lock the door because I haven't even got a key? <laughs> well, because you were filming me, so might as well. Brilliant. Yeah, bye. See ya. Now, I've actually got an old 9 bot charger, not a uh, for an E, that someone years ago sent in, dog had chewed the uh, charger, but I can utilise this, I think. See if I can boost that pack and get it back alive. 
For now though, it is time to go home. So I am heading home now. It is 25 past six. Good morning. Minus one degrees. Time to get going. Okay, yep, yeah, whoa. Boy. Okay. <coughs> okay. Morning. <laughs> this morning I have got a meeting at 10 o'clock and it's I'm in now. It's 8.13 at the moment. I'm gonna try and quickly pack up and pick things. Mike is away, he was away yesterday and today, so I've got the main line um, to mobile it goes to. Got the main line. But I need to get all this out. Obviously the speedy feet stuff and the paintball stuff ready to go for 10. And the reason it's such a rush is because the International Courier comes anywhere between sort of 10 and 11 usually on a Friday. So I need to get everything done that needs to go for the International Courier to make sure that at least that's done. And then I'll be back into the office later anyway to try and finish up the rest of the stuff. So just need to push hard. I would have gone waited at home to be fair because I've got to go completely back in the same direction I've just come from and then another 20 minutes in the direction to go there. Um, would be better to stay at home, work from the office. But if someone's on holiday, you have to fill that void and sort of bomb in and do that. So it is what it is, as I like to say. So I better get on. Yes, 16, yes, uh, S18 going out. Get some charging up, make sure the charger works. We test all that, very rare to have a failed charger, but you know the time you never test something, you can guarantee it go wrong, so you know, always plug them in, make sure they're all right. Well, that's working, which is neat. What I also need to do is the free stickers. Just doing a firmware update as well before it goes. Do, 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 do. Good morning, guys. Today I brought a special gift for Ian very tasty food it's in this box and you may think oh that's truffles but no it's actually a stew out of stinging nettles and here i have buttered nettles so you would ask why have you brought nettles mario well my dad uh, cooked some nettles because actually in bulgaria at least from my region, it's common to eat nettles, uh, yeah, nettles too, uh, which is actually not not bad. Uh, it smells really nice, uh, but I I do prefer the 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 breaded nettles. I think it's it's tastier, and it, I guess it tastes like um, onion bhaji, or, or I don't know how it's called, but it has a very similar texture and, and taste to it. But yeah, it's really nice and. Uh, I'll leave this in the fridge so Ian can um, can have a taster and, and let me know what he if he likes it or not. And on my way to the fridge, I will make myself a cup of tea because I have a lot of uh, video editing work to do for the vlog. Ah, so much better having a bit of tea. And now going back to the computer. I managed to edit the vlog up until today, so that's why now I'm going to quickly uh, put back the RS. I've reassembled the RS and now I'm gonna bring back the charger that I used to charge the battery, the big old battery. And then I need to go and move some shells. And now it's time for a quick time lapse.
Hello. Oui. Yeah. Non, non. Et deux. Oh, go to message from Godfrey. What's it say? Uh, I just I see my name. It says Mario, please remove yourself from this chat group. Uh, too soon. Too soon. Seven hundred kilograms. Meet you in description of chargers. Oh, chargers. Hi, Mario. Please ask Ian check message which shipping company sent. So please <laughs> ask Ian. Message saying, check, check. Tagging me in, saying here's a the cost. They got a quote from someone. Yeah. That's strange. Two, uh, twenty-four, thirty-five. How's the old uh, Sharvin going? Uh, I'm on the last one now. Oh. Moving all along, eh? Yeah. I'm not sure where to put them back on the things when you get them. When they're in, just put them back on the shelving. Mike can sort it out. Look at all this space we've been wasting for years. Years. I mean, it can all be crammed, crammed in here. Actually, it's not that crammed. Even with all this here, still walk by. It's not bad. You can dance in here, Mary. Me and you. Yeah. Yeah, you got the broom ready to do some dancing. Pretend there's a microphone. Oh, was that years and years of. Those balls there, you pick them up there. Yeah. You've got a little box of them somewhere, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Clear paintball. Mm. Excellent. So, this is the new space. Here we have a shelving unit, another shelving unit, another shelving, two shelving units actually. So, yeah, all of this space has been cleared. Okay, so that's two shelving units that I've built up and I need to build two more but that will be next week because it's nearly at the end of the day and then I still need to finish off the vlog, get the thumbnail out and obviously go home. So um, I wouldn't have the time to finish them today but we still have um, a lot of new shelving units so there's a lot of created space which Mike can utilize on Monday. Just finishing off some paintball orders that have come in gone through a lot of speed feed customer emails trying to catch up with those it's now 10 to 5 so not that late Mario is off to take some rubber rounds to a customer because they received the wrong ones and lives he lives right next to where Mario does more or less a couple of streets away he's going to drop on the ways back home uh, going to carry on like that probably going to the shop this evening probably working on a shop on the weekend as well Sally starts on Monday the shop manager Mario's going to be in the shop on Monday as well. Really loving that. Absolutely loving it. He's going to be. Uh, so it's all going to be. It's going to be very different dynamics come Monday because really it starts rolling with someone in there getting paid by the hour on the hour. Chick -chick 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 -chick. Money coming out, so it needs to be quite rapid from now on out. Um, yeah, different dynamics. Going to have to be in the shop for quite a while over the next few weeks at least, and so my time is going to be split and spread thin across different places. So, and the router for the internet still has not shown up. So we're relying on that SIM card router to do all the legwork. And if you remember why I got the router, if you watch the other vlogs, it's because it's not very good. So that's going to be fun, isn't it? Uploading images and stuff and descriptions and prices and things. On that lovely note, I'm trying to make Mario's arms ache because he's holding them outwards. And now he's always moved. He's leaning on stuff now. So, yeah, on that note, we will see you next week. This week we got biscuits, many cups of tea, we're drunk. And lots of things happened. So, explosions. And explosions. We had explosions, biscuit eating, biscuits delivered by a lovely customer, John. Not John Wally, another John. Tune in next week. We'll see you on the live show, most likely. Goodbye. <laughs>